Nvidia has been on a heater recently. These past few days, Nvidia has been hosting their GTC conference, which is the Global Artificial Intelligence Conference, and they had released some incredible products. This is where I would like to introduce Nvidia's latest AI super chip, which is called Blackwell. This is an incredible GPU that's not just an upgrade, but a giant leap towards AI super learning. And guess what? I'm gonna be showcasing as to how you can access it today through HyperStack, which is an elite NVIDIA partner. Now with Blackwell, AI models can learn a little bit better and evolve at unprecedented speeds, with the chip being 10 to 100 times faster than its predecessors such as Hopper. Just watch this video from the conference which showcases it. Blackwell, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this. Now, isn't that amazing? This is the world's most powerful chip for AI training and real-time LM inference. And this is for models scaling up to 10 trillion parameters. This super AI chip is going to be enabling anyone across the globe to build and run real-time inference on trillion parameter large language models at 25 times less in terms of costage and energy consumption than its predecessors. And this was something that was stated by HyperStack. And they basically stated that the Blackwell GPU architecture is going to be able to feature six transformative technologies for generative AI, as well as accelerated computing, which will help in breakthroughs in data processing, as well as electronic design automation. You have computer aided engineering and quantum computing. Now, the great thing is, is that, as I stated at the start, you're going to be able to access and reserve the NVIDIA G Black well gpu and this is where you can actually fill out this form on this website which i'll leave a link to in the description below you will simply just need to provide your name last name email your phone number your company name your use case and just give a little description as to what you're going to be using it for and you're going to be able to have access for it in q4 now the thing is is that this is a amazing site which i covered many times previously and they're a cloud gpu service which will allow you to access multiple different nvidia gpus completely at a cheap price and it's something that i recommend using because it's allowing you to run any sort of large language model with their cloud service because most people don't tend to have the computational power to run any sort of larger model on their local computer. And this is a solution that will actually solve that problem. I have videos on this and I'll leave a link to it in the description below, but I truly recommend that you reserve this because this will be using, this could be used up to 10 trillion parameters and it's gonna be able to handle various sorts of AI training and real-time LM inference. Now, this GPU is absolutely insane. And these key six groundbreaking technologies that work together to enable the AI training as well as the real-time inference for the Blackwell GPU is gonna be making it so much more advanced. We know that firstly, it's the world's most powerful chip, meaning that this GPU is able to be utilized as an advanced manufacturing process and it's tailored by NVIDIA. And th this basically allows you to combine the power of two GPUs into a single chip. And this is a design which is achieving optimal performance and scalability. Secondly, you have the generative AI engine, which is the feature that employs the custom Tensor Core technologies, along with its innovative microservices such as the frameworks, as well as libraries that NVIDIA provides, such as NIM. You have Tensor RTLM, which is a video I've actually covered previously. And all these things together they're basically able to accelerate the AI inference for large language models, including mixture of experts. And this is something really cool to actually note. Thirdly, you have secure AI, and they basically stated that this is for advanced confidential computing capabilities. And it's basically making sure that sensitive data that is being portrayed in the training process is secured and they're basically ensuring high performance and privacy protection. Fourthly, you have fifth generation NVIDIA NVLink, which is offering groundbreaking throughput 
per GPUs. And this will basically facilitate seamless communication amongst multiple GPUs, which is really essential. And it's this capability that is essential for efficiency in handling complex AI models. Fifth is the decompression engines. And this is for dedicated engines that will accelerate the database databases queries. And this is for basically delivering exceptional performance in data analytical tasks, as well as scientific computation. And lastly, you have RAS engine, which is the Blackwell powered GPU feature. And this is a dedicated engine for reliability, as well as availability and serviceability, which is why they've called this abbreviation RAS. And this is a feature which is going to be focused for operation as well as reducing the operating costs and overall it's going to be able to enhance the efficiency and this is why this is something that is 25 times better in terms of its efficiency and energy usage in comparison to its predecessors now as i mentioned at the start the NVIDIA Blackwell GPU is only going to be available at the end of the year. But if you are to reserve it with HyperStack, you will be gaining first access to it through the HyperStack NextGen Cloud service, which means that when time comes, you're going to be able to access it right away with HyperStack. So I recommend that you create a link or account with them with the link in the description below. And now I'm basically just gonna be demonstrating how you can actually use HyperStack. And this is for training models, including how you can set up your virtual machine for that. And it's fairly easy. What you can do is go over to environments, create your own environment. So I'm gonna name it something and I'm gonna select the region and I'm gonna quickly do that and I'll be right back. And once I have created my environment, I can then click on create environment. Once that, that is created, you can then go over to key pairs. This is where you're going to be connecting your key to your computer. And it's something that I showcased in my previous video. I'm not going to be going a little bit over it in depth into it because I already covered it previously. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, which will showcase how you can set your or import your SSH key. And they actually have a documentation which will showcase this. You would simply just need to go into your command prompt and you can just simply type in the use SSH key gen command and you're going to be able to generate your key. Once you have gotten that, you can then take your public key from the file that you have saved it and you can paste it over here. And once you have pasted it, you're going to be able to then name it whatever you want and then we can then create our virtual environment. I already have created a public key, so I won't really need to do it, but you can then go over to the virtual machines, and this is where you can deploy your new virtual machine. So you can just simply click on that, name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna name it NextGen World of AI. Next, you can then select the environment, this is the one that we just recently created. And then we can go down and we can select different GPUs. These are the ones that are being provided. So these are quite affordable and I truly recommend that you take a look at the previous video, which will showcase which GPU is required for training or utilizing different large language models. And I'll leave that link in the description below. But in this case, if I'm going to be training or utilizing a smaller model that's 7 billion parameters, I'll be using the A100 GPU. So you can simply just select this one, scroll down, choose an image. You can then select the key pair that you just recently imported or created. And then you can configure these other options. And then once you're ready, you can just click deploy. And this will take a couple of minutes depending on which GPU you're using. But you're going to be able to get a message on your dashboard, which will say that your virtual machine is ready. So once that is done, I'll be right back. Now, once your virtual machine is active, you need to then go over to the security rules and enable SSH access. This is important. And once you have done that, you can then proceed forward with the tutorial. Now, what you want to do next is copy this public IP, open up your command prompt. So once you have command prompt opened up, you can then type in SH, or SSH, sorry, and then type in your name of the file. So you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm using this image as Windows Server. So I'm going to write Windows, and then I'm going to write at, and then paste the IP in. And then I'm going to click Enter. Now this will connect my virtual machine to my computer. So this will take a couple of seconds. Once it's done, I'll be right back. Now, if that does not work, what you can do is go over to security rules and copy this command over here. In this case, it says Ubuntu because I switched my image to Ubuntu. 
and I then have my IP over here, which is the public IP. And then you can have dash I and then the path of your SSH private key. You can then put that path over here. And if you cannot find your path, you can right click on the pub file, which is the key that was generated to. And then you can get the file path and import that file path in this section. And if you do not want to put that, you can just get rid of this. You can just copy this command right here, paste it into your command prompt, and then you will be able to connect to the Ubuntu server, which is your virtual machine. And this is the image that it's running. And now I can proceed forward with the installation. And now I have my computer finally connected to HyperStack. So I can then go forward and start installing my large language model with this GPU service. So now that we have connected our virtual machine with our local computer, we can now install Text Generation Web UI on it. For the people who do not know, this is a Gradio Web UI for your large language model, which means that you can chat with it, fine tune it, train it, and so much more. So what you want to do is go to this GitHub repo, scroll all the way to the top, click on, on this green button, copy this link, go to your command prompt that you just connected your virtual machine to, now, since we switched over to Ubuntu, what we're going to need to do is create a new directory. So what we're going to do is use this command for Ubuntu, which is mkdir, and name whatever directory you want. So I'm going to just name it virtual machine, so vm. Then I'm going to go into that folder by typing in cd vm, just like how you would with Windows. And if you do not know how to do this, you can definitely create it with another command for Windows. And if you're on the Windows servers, you would obviously use a separate command now once we're in vm what we're going to do is type in git clone and paste the repo link and if you're on ubuntu what you want to do is uh, press this command Control shift v and uh, right click on your mouse and you'll be able to clone this repo so now that we have cloned it we can then proceed forward for the installation so what you want to do next is run your command and this is the script depending on your OS, obviously. And then you're going to have to select your GPU vendor. And once you have done that, you're going to be then able to host it on your local host. In this case, this is going to be the local host on the GPU server. And if you are to click on the local host link, you're going to be able to then start up text generation web UI. And just like that, we have it running. So once you have this UI running, what you can do is go click on model. Now, once you are here, what you want to do is download the custom model. So what you want to do is just paste the model card that you can find on Hugging Face. So in this case, for example, this is just a random example. You can just copy this model card. You can go to Text Generation Web UI, copy and paste it and click download. So I'm going to now download this. And once it has finished downloading, I'm going to then load it up. Now, once it has finished downloading, what you want to do is then head over to the model tab over here. You want to then click on this refresh button then load the model that you just recently downloaded. Once you have downloaded that, you then need to click on load. And then once you have done that, you can then tweak the parameters as you would like, and then you can start chatting with it right away. And that's how you're able to utilize NextGen's cloud GPU service, which will allow you to utilize different large language models on the cloud with their service. And this is also a great way for you to train different models utilizing their cloud compute service. And in the future, you're obviously going to be able to utilize Blackwell's GPU through HyperStack, which is a great way for you to utilize a new higher compute level for various use cases. And this will be definitely ideal for organizations as well as enterprises who would like to utilize a larger compute power. And I definitely recommend that you reserve this. So definitely fill this out with the link in the description below so that you can access it. But in summary, this is an incredible GPU. I truly didn't believe that NVIDIA would be releasing something this powerful. It's something that is quite cost effective and it's super powerful. So definitely recommend that you take a look at this in the link in the description below. But that's basically it for today's video on this NVIDIA Blackwell GPU as well as how you can reserve it. And I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.